Okay, so we are now in week 3 and the lesson is equations transformable to quadratic equation, no? including rational algebraic equation. No? So in this lesson, we are going to transform the equations na pwedeng matransform into quadratic equation, including na dyan yung mga rational algebraic equation. So, so, let's have an example. Example number one. Example number one. Lapitan natin content. Ayan. The given is solve for the given x times x minus 5 is equal to 24. Okay. So, we're going to solve for the given x times x minus 5 is equal to 24. So, this example is not written in standard form. Bakit? Kasi given natin ay naka naka ganito lang. No? So, we are going to transform it. Now, to transform Copy muna natin. Copy ko lang para dala-dala na tayo. So, x times x minus 5 is equal to 24. So, what we are going to do is to, what? To multiply the value of x to the given on uh, inside the quantity. So, x times x is x squared. x times negative 5 is negative 5x is equal to 24. Now, if we look on this equation, hindi pa siya naka-standard form. So, what we are going to do is to transpose this 24 to the left side. So, it will become x squared minus 5x is minus 24 is equal to 0. Okay? So, this one is erase. Yan. So, minus po yun, no? Minus 24. Kasi positive siya. Then, transpose natin siya to the left side, so it will become negative. Now, we're going to get the value of, what? The roots ng given natin. So, ano kaya pwede natin gamitin? So, pwede natin gamitin is yung factoring. No? So, ano kaya yung factor ng 24 na magbibigay sa atin ng 5 na sagot? So, lagyan natin x since 1 lang naman ang given natin dyan. x and x. Ano kaya yung factor ng 24 na kapag pinag-add or minus is negative 5 ang sagot at kapag pinag-multiply ay negative 24. That is negative 8 and positive 3. Tama? Factor ng 24, negative 8 and positive 3. When you add them or subtract, it will become negative 5. When you multiply, it will become negative 24. Next. So, equate natin to 0. So, x, x minus 8 is equal to 0. x plus 3 is equal to 0. It will become x is equal to positive 8 and x will become negative 3. So, these are the roots. Okay. Na transform na natin siya at the same time, nakuha din natin yung value ng roots. So, let's check if our answers are correct. If the value of x is 8, o, oh, ito na yun, ha? Punta tayo sa original equation. x times x minus 5 is equal to 24. So, substitute natin if x is 8, if x is equal to 8. Therefore, 8 times 8 minus 5 is equal to 24. Now, 8 times 8 minus 5 is 3 is equal to 24. Therefore, 24 is equal to 24. So, therefore, tama. How about if x is negative 3? So, if x is negative 3, it will become negative 3 times negative 3 minus 5 is equal to 24. Hindi na nakita. Ayan, sorry. So, negative 3 minus 8 is equal to 24. Pataging negative 8. Para sila ng sign, therefore, i-add natin sila. 
copy the sign, then add the value. Negative 3 times negative 8 is positive 24. And therefore, they are all correct. Okay?